With so many PPF brands out there, you're probably wondering which one should you get. So we've got four top competitors and we're going to find out what they can withstand. So for this video, we're going to test four brands. We got Avery over here, Aztec, 3M, and Xbell. And you've probably heard of a lot of these brands and they're all very, very similar, but they have different features. So let's go over it real quick. 3M and Xbell are probably going to be the most popular ones, but Aztec is one of the newer ones and Avery just came out with their PPF. These two right here, actually one of the things that sets them apart is they actually have a hydrophobic coating on top, which means that it can withstand certain things like, um, like bird, uh, bird poops and bug guts and things that are liquid, right? So these don't have any of that uh, top coat like they do here. Think of this like a temporary ceramic coating on these two. So we're going to be doing four types of tests and the first one's going to be a Sharpie test. And this is liquid, so this kind of represents like bug guts or bird poops and stuff like that on it. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to try to replicate rock chips and like bludgeoning, or I guess like a screwdriver, and we're going to stab at it. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is, unfortunately, Tesla's cars sometimes are prone to keying. So we got a key right here, a beautiful key, and we're going to key through it all two, three more times. And lastly, we got the brush, and this represents scratches over time because what these all of these do is they have self-healing ability so when you add heat or the sun hits it it actually heals over time all of them have amazing clarity they are all really really good products so this video isn't about uh, which one's the best it depends on the installer and what you have access to so let's get straight into it we're going to be putting a um, two lines or actually we'll just put one line across every single one of them we're going to let it sit for a little bit and then after that we're going to be using different like our waterless wash so I'm rubbing alcohol just to see if it stays or if it's or if it stains, right? So we're gonna go ahead with Expel. Nice line. Whoa. Okay. I might be wrong, but 3M might have a hydrophobic property. So it's just been a little bit over a minute now, and we actually put the streak of um the permanent marker and we noticed that it already had hydrophobic properties on 3m and i looked at the spec sheet and it does have a top coat that does have hydrophobic so just correcting myself so you can see immediately right away you see a difference this is super streak i mean it just goes all the way through this one barely kind of um held, held on s tag is the same thing and avery is kind of like in the middle right so this is like the darkest middle and then very very little so i'm going to get this beautiful microfiber going to ruin it with permanent marker um, and we're going to try it with a waterless wash first. So we're going to try with a um, Expel. And I'm just going to let it soak on all of them just for a couple seconds. And then we're going to see if we can get rid of this uh, permanent marker. So let's go ahead. So I am really rubbing this right now. Like very, very hard. And it does sort of come out, but you can see immediately that it left that stain. So I'm gonna do this with the 3M now. Same thing, I'm using a different part of the microfiber. And you can significantly see, I mean, it doesn't stay on, so you can still see a little streak though, just so you know. And then on S-Tech, it actually comes out very, very easy, a lot less force. And the Avery does have hydrophobic as well, uh, but it's very, very similar to Expel. It needed quite a bit of force to get at least like the main thing out. So you can kind of see, there's the results. So the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, can they actually come out still? So I'm just gonna use a little bit harder chemical, just 70% uh, rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna just see if it comes out. And you can see it does come out for the most part. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's slightly there. So maybe if I rub a little harder, it will work. I'm gonna do the same for the 3M. And then Aztec, uh, actually you could see a little bit, but um, I can already tell the difference. When I'm gliding across, it's just a lot smoother on this just because it has that hydrophobic property. And then I'm going to do it with Avery as well. Lastly, go ahead.
So Avery, it was quite hard. It was surprising with the alcohol. Man, Expel came out very, very easily. You can still see a line, but for the most part, most of it is out. Um, I'm having to put another, I guess, like load of alcohol to get it out. Oops, sorry. I mean, you could kind of see the result. I'm gonna conclude that. Very impressed with all of them, though. I mean, the fact that this is supposed to be very, very stained. Um, I mean, it stains everything, right? That's what's called a permanent marker. So the fact that it all comes out for the most part is promising for all four. The next test is going to be the screwdriver test. And again, this represents rock chips and other debris that get on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five pretty decent size. Um, and I'm going to do it in the top part um, just so that I could save the other part for other damages. So we're going to start with the expo. Oh, this, this is painful. All right, so I put a good amount of force um, on it. And right now you can kind of see that there's definitely like circles right there. I might go a little bit harder this time just to be more aggressive. But let's try this one again. All right, that's definitely a lot more aggressive. You could obviously see some dents right here. So the real test is gonna be when we peel off the film, see how it actually does under that. So unfortunately, Teslas uh, tend to get key quite often. Uh, you see it in Reddit and forums and stuff. So we're gonna try to replicate that and see what kind of impact this does. Um, I think we actually need a sharper key. All right, so we got this um, sharper key right here. You got that edge. So we're gonna go ahead and try using this one. All right, so, ooh, that, that, that hurts doing that. Lastly, we are going to be replicating, I guess, scratches over time, and we're gonna be using this metal brush, um, and we're gonna be doing it in this top corner, and then I'll actually heat that right away to show you guys the self-healing ability. I did paint correct this really quick, just did one pass, just to kind of get it clean, so under that, it should be fairly clean. So we're gonna start with the expel again. I'm gonna do a few of these. And you can kind of see the scratches right there, right? So this is a little dirty, I'm sorry. So you could also see scratches right there. You can see scratches here. It's really hard to see, but hopefully you guys can see that. And you can see scratches right there. All right, so now we're gonna get the heat gun right away. Wow, so you could actually see um, most of that is gone. The scratches that I had right here. And then we're gonna check the 3M right here and the scratches we had. Yep, the scratches are also gone here. I'm gonna say S Tech. Awesome. So actually, all of them are gone as well. And then let's check, lastly. Yeah, for the most part, all the micro scratch scratches that was on all of them, they all healed up right away. So um, hopefully you get that on the top camera, but if you don't, um, you can have my word that all the self healing worked really, really well. So now the, the, the part that you guys have been waiting for did all these films actually withstand it and is it worth protecting your car with any of these films so we're going to peel it we're going to leave the names here so you can see what was there uh, let's start with the expel This actually left some adhesive on Avery, and then none of the other ones actually left any adhesive glue. So let's talk about the results. You can see Expel right here. I mean, man, I, I went really aggressive in that keying, and yes, there are some scratches right here and right here, and then the bludgeoning from the screwdriver earlier, but it didn't actually go through the paint. If you look at the actual film right here, this looks really aggressive, and it went 
it protected at least a good amount of it, at least half of that, because I actually went all the way, um, like that whole stroke, right? 3M right here, honestly, that keying is super impressive. We actually don't see any keying, and of course, all of them, they don't have any permanent markers, so it doesn't bleed to any of them. Um, you can see there are actually no keying marks over here. And then you can see also the same thing like Expel, you got the bludgeonings. Uh, that was pretty aggressive when we used the screwdriver. Um, you got the X S tech as well. There are some scratches from the keying right here and some of that bludgeoning as well. Again, that was very aggressive, so I expected it to not necessarily go through all the way, but uh, definitely having some dents like that. I mean, if I were to do it directly, this is painful. Um, let me try it. It is similar, I guess. I don't know if I did it as hard. Okay, I'll go. It just, it just sucks. I don't want to do it on this bumper. Okay, that was hard, right? Okay, so I did it without any of the film, and you could kind of see right here, it, do, it did go through a little bit deeper. So honestly, the film does provide that barrier where it does protect it from, you know, what we, somewhat of a rock chip, right? Or something that's forceful in one direct point right on the, the bumper. So lastly, we got, um, again, like talking about the stack, it did go through a little bit, but very, very good. And then Avery, um, I'm gonna clean this off. Again, this is the only film that got adhesive. I'm not really sure what happened there. You can see that it has the same bludgeoning, very, very similar to all of them. Honestly, all across the board, they're the same. As far as keying, there is actually a line here, but it didn't actually like go through the paint chip. So yes, it did create a line right here. And you can see that all of them do what they're advertised to do, protect your vehicle from all these things. Um, it's up to you guys to choose which one you think was the best. Um, that's not really for us to tell you that, but we just want to show you some of that durability and how we can replicate some of the real life situations that a PPF can withstand. So hope that video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. We're coming out with videos every single week. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.